Good morning, lovelies. Today we have a new moon in Leo. We're going to have a look at how that's going to affect each star sign, each zodiac sign of yours. So the new moon in Leo's energy is all about new beginnings, as new moons are. Now, normally new moons um, create the spark of inspiration, the spark of something new. But actually, we don't implement it for a couple more days. So this is just the day or the two days, three days where we think about what we went as a new beginning. Now, in Leo, Leo rules the fifth house in astrology, which is connected to children, which is connected to lovers, not necessarily marriage, but your loves. This connects to um, creative energy, that spark of inspiration, that creative energy. Oh, I just found a weed there. Um, it also indicates your inner child. This is really good for your inner child and for things where you want to have a creative nature. So what new things do you want to bring into your life? Leo, oh, we've got a strawberry as well. Leo looks at, Leo looks at um, courageous, where you're going to be courageous. The strength, it rules the strength tarot card. Leo looks at where you want to be loud and proud, where you want to stand up for yourself, where you want to shout how fabulous you are. So all this energy comes in with new things. So this is the time when we think about new ways of standing in our power, new ways of being loud, new ways of being creative, new ways of connecting to our inner child, new ways of releasing hurts and pains and things that have blocked us, particularly on a creative level. Level. So if you're trying to do something new in business, this would be a really good time to be creative, to be a bit flamboyant, to be a bit out there, to tell everyone how amazing you are. If you want to do something new in relationships, this is a good time to have some fun, to go out with your partner, to be a little bit childlike, to have, um, just be some, be silly. If you're single and you're looking for new love, then this new moon in Leo is a really good time to get glammed up, get really dressed up, make yourself feel really good and um, pay extra attention to just being fabulous whatever it is that makes you feel really good however you make you feel really good when you step out of that door or when you log on whatever however you're going to meet someone this is like stepping into your power and being authentic the new moon in leo is about being your true courageous self so let's have a look at um what it means for each zodiac sign Okay, so we're going to kick off with Aries, first of all. Aries, this new moon in Leo represents your emotions this time. Now, you could keep a lid on them. You might feel that you want to express more than what you uh, should express at the moment. So this card indicates keeping a little bit of a lid on your emotions and maybe holding something a little bit private as well for the time being. It's also, Aries indicates it's a time for you to really um, step into your emotional power and to, to find that control within that, but maybe to be um, a little bit more nurturing around yourself as well. What is it that makes you feel loved? What is it that makes you feel emotionally contented there and in control emotionally, Aries? That's what's going to flare up for you. Taurus, okay, endings, the death card Taurus. So we've got endings coming in for you, Taurus. This new moon is going to shed light on things that no longer serve, the old ways of doing things. So you're going to come up with new creative things, new ways of doing things, and you're realising what is outdated. Gemini, the hangman. Gemini, this new moon for you is going to indicate that you are seeing things from a bigger point of view. You're ready to wake up a little bit. You might have to hang around for a little bit um, and wait a little bit longer, but there is like a, a not a penny drop a moment, but just you're seeing the bigger picture of things. You're realizing that actually there is newness, new wonder all around you, and this is just the beginning. Cancer. Your boundaries are going to be super important. There could be really strong connections around your dad as well with this new moon. But your boundaries are going to be important. And be a master of the des your destiny. So you're really stepping into your power cancer where you're going to start to say yes or no to whoever and whatever. Leo. Okay, Leo, I'm not surprised. This is celebration card. You're out there. You're going to be loud and proud. You're telling everyone how amazing you are. And you're going to be sharing it with those that you love. Virgo. All this new moon sheds light on what it is you really want, what values are important to you. You're going to be weighing up. Is it worth it? Do I really want to put my energy into that or should I really put it into that? So you're going to be weighing up people and situations and you could be walking away from things. This new moon is going to really shine light on what's going to be important for you and uh, let go of what isn't. 
months libra big changes are coming in libra this new moon is going to shake things up for you however in that shake up it will lead to silver linings of new beginnings for you but some things are going to come that could be out of the blue a little bit for you libra don't worry about the shake up but there's always a silver lining Sag uh, scorpio the worry card now this new moon sheds light on unnecessary worries so try not to overthink things scorpio try not to stress it's easier said than done but a worry one worry can turn into 10. now this new moon you're going to have lots of ideas coming around you're going to have lots of thoughts so try one thing at a time don't overwhelm yourself sagittarius you're getting through things this new moon you've got a lot again a lot on your mind saggies there's a lot of new things you want to start but you've got to finish the old things before you can start the new and although you might be tired you might be feeling exhausted saggies you're well on your way to coming out of a difficult patch so keep on going because there is a new dawn right in front of you just keep on going for that last little bit Capricorn, it's busy. There are going to be lots of new opportunities coming around you, Capricorn, with this new moon. People are going to know about you. People are going to hear about you. Your creative energy is just getting louder and louder and brighter and brighter. Take all these opportunities. It could be a very busy new moon, very busy time for you. Travel as well. Last minute travel, Capricorn, or things that you're just uh, excited about. Aquarius, team zone now aquarians this new moon is going to shed light and although you like to do a lot of things on your own you've got very solitary actually things are going to work better if you're in a team this new moon is going to shed opportunities around team building around new projects but then things where there will be more success if you work within a team friendships could come in very strong around this new moon showing you who really is um your friend and having to make practical choices and decisions as well um aquarians there but anything to do with teammates is going to be fabulous for you on this new moon you're building towards things aquarius and pisces oh we have the devil for you pisces this new moon is going to show you what is controlling you what is overwhelming you in you overwhelming you and what is blocking you at the moment there are things around you um, pisces that you want to be doing there's new vibes that you want to be having but things that are blocking you now this could be unhealthy could be toxic from a person to a situation to yourself so ask yourself what is it that is unhealthy around you where have you not got a balance this new moon is going to shed light on things that are um tipping the balance or controlling you and not in a very positive way you want to break free from things with this new moon you want to have a bit more fun or you want to find that you're not being um controlled by anyone or anything that could be toxic there okay this card brings a kind of choice and temptation um and that is up to you which way you want to go with it but this new moon in leo is going to sh really shine light on the toxic or the negative i don't like the word negative side much prefer toxic side that um needs releasing for you in order for you to step into this new moon's power so things that you can do on this lovely new moon is create an altar. Uh, Leo energy is going to be citrine crystals. It's going to be could be pyrite crystal. Uh, it could be amber, tiger's eye, things of yellow and orange. You may want to use tarot cards like I do to bring in that energy. So think about what it is that you want and pop that on your altar so that you can create um, the energy. You may want to have orange and yellow candles. They're going to be really good for... Um, the lions the leos energy as well but really think about what it is that you want to start new be loud about be proud about creative about and where you want to have some fun in your life that's going to be super important right now